Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing an Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial for beginners. I'm going to break down everything you need to know to get started fast. And if you don't have Premiere yet, I left a link in the description where you can grab the free seven day trial to test out. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Now we're going to be using the most latest version of this software. So if yours looks a little bit different, it's totally fine. The fundamentals are still going to be pretty much the same. So let's just get straight into it. What we're going to do is we're going to press new project over in the left hand side. And from here, it's going to create a pop up window where you can select the project name and we're going to name this overview. And then we're going to go to the location drop down menu, press choose location. And from here, we can select the folder that we want to save our project file to. I already have a folder set up. It's called Porsche pitch and we're gonna save it right here. So we're gonna select this folder and we're going to press select. From here, you don't have to worry about template and press skip import mode, make sure that this is checked on and press create. Now we're going to be inside of Premiere Pro, inside of its editing tab. If yours looks a little bit different, that's totally fine. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to the workspace tab right here, this icon, and you're going to see a bunch of different workspaces that you can choose from. These are pre-made layouts that Adobe has created in order to focus on specific workflows. Right now, we're going to just focus on the editing one. Now, what we're going to look at is this project panel right here. And from here, we're going to start importing our media. We're going to press import media. And then we're going to go to our folder that we have all of our footage in. We're going to select it and we're going to press import. And that's going to import all of the footage inside of that folder. And if you drop this down, you can see the different subfolders that are within that folder as well. Now, Premiere likes to call these bins. If you double click on one of them, you'll see that it's going to open up another uh, tab inside of this panel where you can view all of your clips in here. If you don't want to see all these names and you just want to see a visual of what files you're working with, you can press icon view and that's going to give you a little preview of what the files are that you're going to be working with. So what we're going to do is now create a sequence. So then we can start editing. We're going to go to project. We're going to switch over to list icons and then we're going to take all of the media files inside of the driving folder and we're just going to drop it onto our timeline right here. And now we're looking at all the different clips within that subfolder. These are all the files that we have for the folder where it's just driving. This is one clip. This is another clip. This is another clip. This is another clip and so on and so on. All right. Now that we have all of our files here, let's take a look over on this panel. These are all of your tool tips. And what you can do is you can select these in order to transform your cursor into different tools. You have your selection tool, your track select forward, uh, ripple edit, razor tool, and a bunch of different ones along with the little sub menu if you hold it down in order to select different tools as well. Right now, we're just gonna focus on the selection tool and the razor tool. The selection tool lets you pick a clip, it lets you select a clip, move around on your timeline, and you can take your clips and you can move them around, arrange them however you want, boom, boom, there you go. That's called nonlinear editing. We're going to command Z all of this. And then the razor tool is where you can take your razor and you can add a cut wherever you want on any of the clips that you have. So let's begin doing our very first cut. Let's go over to the beginning of this video and we're gonna play this video by pressing the space bar on our keyboard and we can also stop it by using the same one. Okay, I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the razor tool and I'm gonna place an edit right here, switch back to my selection tool, select this and press delete. Now you'll notice that there's a gap right here now and that's just gonna give us a blank video. In order to get rid of that gap, you can select the area that's right here and press delete again in order to move all the files over on your right hand side and bring them over. What you can also do is you can right click this clip and you can press ripple delete and that will ripple delete that video and move everything over to the right. And so now what I can do is just play around with this video and try to find uh, an edit that I kind of enjoy. I like this clip right here. I'm going to take this and instead of bringing it all the way over here, 
moving all these files over like that and then putting this right here. What I can do instead is actually select this file, this single clip. I can press copy with Command C or Control C. I can press delete. Then I can go to where I wanna place it, which is gonna be right here. And I can press Command Shift V or Control Shift V and that will do a ripple paste. Perfect. I have my initial cut here. I'm going to delete all the files over here that I don't need. And now I'm looking at these four clips that I want to use and string together. But I feel like I can make this a little bit more interesting. So what I want to do is create inserts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my footage folder, double click it. I'm going to go to close ups. Perfect. And I'm going to switch over to icon view. And there's these two clips that I kind of want to use here, which is just close-ups in order to make the video feel faster. I'm going to double click on one of these and you'll see that pops up here. This is your source monitor. This is where you can preview all of your clips. Over here on the program monitor, this is what you're gonna be exporting. This is gonna be your final project. Your source panel is going to be where you can view your different clips. I'm going to double click this and I'm gonna press play and see what I wanna put into my video. Right there, I wanna use that. So I'm going to press mark out, I'm move my playhead to the beginning, I'm gonna press mark in. And I'm gonna insert this actually in the very beginning of this video. So I'm going to press what's called insert right here. And that's going to move everything over to the right and import this single edit clip or the single part of this clip into my timeline. Additionally, what you can do is do overwrite. But what that does is that it puts it over this video and just kind of overwrites it, right? I don't want to do that. I just want to put it in and I just want to insert it, move everything over to the right. So I'm going to press insert here. And now we have more of a dynamic edit. We're going to take all this and we're going to move this over to about right here. Starts off with the clutch going into gear. Boom. I want to move all this over so it's like that. Cool. I like to make little sound effects while I'm editing so then I can vis so I can audibly see what's going on or like hear it in my head. All right. Fantastic. And so I kind of want to do it again on this side right here because this cut is too jarring and I kind of want to cover that up. So I'm going to go back to over here and I'm going to press play again. And right there, I want to use this. So I'm going to do the same thing, mark in and mark in and mark out. And instead of pressing the insert button, I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it over like this, and I'm going to hold down the command key or the control key on PC. And that's going to do another insert. Perfect. So just like that. All right. I also want to use the speedometer here. So I'm going to find a part of this that I really like. I think I'm gonna choose that right here. I'm gonna press mark in. I'm gonna press mark out. And then I'm going to insert that into my video. All right. So now that feels a lot faster. I'm going to then take this, move this over here. Speedometer goes into gear. I'm going to actually increase that. Boom. And let that play out just a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. Now we have created our very first video. Looks fantastic to me. But I want to add audio onto this as well. As you can tell, there's nothing really happening. There's no audio playing. And audio is such a huge part of video editing. So what I'm going to do is inside of my folder, I have a music folder. And there's a track in here that I'm going to then take and put that onto my timeline. And I'm going to cut this excess right here. And as you can see, if I press play, you'll find this little level area right here. This is where you can monitor your waveforms. Now, if it's hitting reds right here, that means that it's a little bit too loud. So what you can do in order to lower the volume is you can select the audio track, go to effect controls, and you can decrease the volume here. We're going to decrease it by five points or by 5 dB, and that's going to lower the volume for us. Fantastic, all right. We are all happy with it. We're not gonna go into color. We're not gonna go into effects or anything. This is just how to simply start cutting stuff into Premiere Pro so that you can get going. 
After this, we're then going to press export because this is when we are done with our video. I'm gonna press export here. From right here in the file name, this is where we can name it whatever we want. We're going to name it Porsche Pitch. In location, this is where we can save it into a folder. We're gonna save it into the folder that we already have. Press save. And then for presets, we're going to select match source adaptive bit rate. That's just going to match the sequence that we've been working in. From here, we're gonna press export. And just like that, congratulations, you have just edited your very first video in Premiere Pro. And we can view it right here. And there we go. Looks great to me. I hope that this overview helped you learn how to use Premiere Pro. And if you wanna learn more about how to use different programs within the Adobe Master Collection, make sure you press the subscribe button, press the like button, and the notification bell so then you can get updates whenever we upload a new video.